Oh my goodness, it's Alex here alone, no Nick. Oh, not, not totally alone, I've got BB. BB's here. I wanted to I wanted to put this video up and I'm doing this a little bit for Nick and a little bit for everyone else, anyone who's interested. I wanted to talk about a conversation I had with Nick today on the phone. It was about the online hate towards Star Wars. We're sick of it, we had a fucking gut full of it. There's some people that are so negative about the movie, even to suggest boycotting the DVD release. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna purchase that sucker. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch those special features. I'm gonna enjoy those deleted scenes. I'm, I'm just gonna soak up every hour of footage additional that they have included on this DVD interviews, regardless of how many times they've rehashed the same discussion about the production of the film. I don't care, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna absorb it again. I mean, this is what I live for. It's Star Wars, for God's sake. Yet, there are so many people that are passionate, apparently passionate about it, like Nick and I and BB. Yet, there's, there's people out there just fucking slamming the movie, saying that it's shit and, you know, Disney have destroyed Kathleen Kennedy. What have you done to Star Wars? I, okay, you know, there, there were some mistakes made. Perhaps, yes, yes, I agree, I agree. Look, I enjoyed the movie Walking Out. Most of you probably did, yet you start thinking back and you listen to some on, online discussion and there's real merit in some of the points that are being made. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? You know, Luke, Luke, why couldn't have you been present there in the end? You know, what was that all about? Why did they have to kill you off? And why were you so reluctant to be part of what was going on? But then again, Obi-Wan was in seclusion. Yoda was in seclusion. So it doesn't deviate too far to wonder about Luke in seclusion also. So, I mean, I... You know, still to this moment, I enjoy that first space sequence in The Last Jedi. It's gold. It's gold. It's strong. It moves at a rapid pace. The music's great. The sequences are great. It is well put together. Um, if anything, the, uh, it, there are moments in the story that I question, some decisions made, but the movie itself is presented so well. The Rose and Finn stuff. I said to one of my kids today, it would be wonderful to see an edit of the film without the Rose and Finn stuff, but not that I want to subtract uh, Finn from these movies. I love his presence. His, his presence in Force Awakens was wonderful, yet in this here, the story between he and Rose, it just seems to amount to nothing. So, look, uh, it's not, I'm not ragging on the movie. I'm not getting down. I'm discussing. I'm discussing and looking for a contrary opinion. Feel free to, to, to suggest something different, to say that it's a wonderful opinion. Perhaps BBA, you feel differently. I, I don't know. But let's discuss civilly. I mean, boycotting the film, really? Really? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is one of many disappointments we may have. They're redesigning the look of Star Wars, and us oldies are going to have to become accustomed to that. Us dedicated fans are are going to need to become accustomed to that. Like I said to Nick recently, there's probably going to be a lot more disappointment, but it's just something we're going to have to get used to. But I don't want to get used to disappointment. I want to embrace change. So, yeah, look, the legacy stuff is done, and it may not be in it may not have been presented the way we wanted it to be presented, but it's done now, all right? And it wasn't that bad. We can enjoy it. And, and I'm sure in time we'll come to enjoy The Last Jedi. But for now, let's look forward to what comes next. And despite the saga movies, we've always got the standalone movies. And look, we've got a, a TV live action series coming. We've got the creators of Game of Thrones developing their own trilogy. We've got Ryan Johnson developing his own trilogy, which is aside from the Star Wars, uh, uh, from the Skywalker stuff. So who knows what this is all gonna look like. But I love Star Wars, you love Star Wars. Let's embrace this stuff, hey? Because otherwise, what are we left with? We're, we're just left wanting for something that doesn't exist. All right? It's Star Wars. Enjoy it. It's not always perfect. You, you know, perhaps if we had the opportunity to critique Empire Strikes Back as we feel these days about Star Wars and the perspective we have now about Star Wars, we may feel differently about that film as well. But we don't. We look back at it with only the fond memories like you do with most past memories. You only remember the good stuff. Anyway, look, I don't want to carry on for too long. Nick's not here. It's not the same. But uh, a shout out to my bro, Nick. I hope you're traveling well, buddy. I can't wait to see you again and, and discuss this further but for now love to you geek friends enjoy bye from us bye from bb8 ciao